Alright, as promised, we're down at the shop. Uh, it's a little later in the evening since I got the new razor. And we're going to basically take this hoop off and put that HMF worn axon winch combo on the front of the razor. Um, so mainly this is going to be mounting up the bumper. Uh, I'll wire the winch later um, once I get into wiring. Anyway, let's get to it. I'm pretty excited. Alright, so step one of the instructions is to remove this front panel. Uh, it's a T40. One cool thing that I got before I started this project was a whole set of these extended and shorty T40s for impact driver. It makes life way easier. <clears throat> There's four of these. So that's the front cover for Torx head bolts. Hold that on. Um, on this HMF bumper, so we are going to have to trim the bottom section of this off. Um, so looking at it here, it looks like you want to trim straight across right at this little nook. Um, so I'm going to get some kind of straight edge and uh, trim this off real quick. Now we're going to remove the fascia. Okay, there is one different bolt size on it that helps anybody out, but the shorter ones are on the bottom. The bottom of the fascia cover. And that's off. So now we can take off uh, the front bumper. I'm going to need some sockets for that. Okay, so it looks like this mounts where this front bumper hoop used to be. Uh, so we're gonna get that out. It looks like there's a front mounted bolt and then there's a through bolt at the back. So I may need to get some wrenches. And this does make it a lot easier if you take the front grill out. I just discovered that. So I'm going to pop these bolts out. That way I can pull straight out on the, uh, the bumper hoop. Okay, it looks like there's some clips also holding it. And for these clips, what I really need, I know I have some somewhere, but if you have the plier style clip rather than the pull pin clip, these are recessed and are really hard to get to. Um, so let me go see if I can find those real quick. Okay, I wasn't able to find the tool I wanted, but you can get to the bottom of the clips. So what I'm going to try to do is just gently start pressing them up. It's going to take a lot longer than having the right tool. We got one out, just for reference. This is what I'm talking about, this is your standard clip. So what I did is I pressed from the bottom side, pressed that pin up and was able to get a hold of it. Okay, that's the second one out, now this hoop should come out. And that's the piece you want to take off. <coughs> 
Okay, so now we have the, the front fascia, or the, this front piece has a lower plastic piece, and uh, two of those push pins connect into that bumper, or that roll bumper. This piece, they go in these holes right here. So that's what you're taking off. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like the orientation for this is something like that. So they're using this plate's going to stick up, and you're going to basically run through the same holes that you took out the rear section of the bumper. Um, we'll go into those. Let's make sure we use the right hardware. Okay, so two M M8 125 20s and a nylock nut and four washers. So washers on both sides. And I'm just going to assemble these real quick just to make sure that I have the right quantity, have everything I need to complete. short of washers. So I need several washers. So this is just going to save me time. One thing I'm already noticing there's actually two size washers that look very similar that have a different hole size. So I need to double check and make sure that I've got the right ones on all these bolts. Those look okay. Let's just make sure we don't have any wobbly ones on any of these, and we do. So just time saver. Uh, make sure that you line up the right washer with the right bolt. So there's the difference. Um, those two are different. Okay, so now we've got, I think, all of the right washers. Double check all these. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> so now we can install this, get the washer on both sides. Um, top down, again, if you take the grill out, you can get your hands down in there pretty easily. There's one. This should be two. So this plate, basically look at those farthest back bolts and you want these tabs pointed up and it should be really clear. Another key hint is uh, you have those two plastic things and there's actually holes for that in this bracket. It'll kind of help you get it oriented correctly. So now, now let's swap out the one that I dropped. And there's not a huge amount of wiggle room here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put through the push through the push pins, um, just so that I have good alignment and I don't put a lot of pressure on this plastic. There's one push pin. We can get the other one to go a little smoother. There we go. Okay, both push pins are in. Now that'll kind of keep that centered up as I tighten up. And I'm hoping this is the same size. Okay, that's in there. That's stable. We've got that mounted. Okay, mine are messed up there, so instead of actually putting the push pins in, they're actually putting a bolt through that. I don't know why. And all these small flange bolts.
It'll be those small flange bolts that got a little flange on them. So flange bolts down and then a washer and a nut on the back side. And I'm gonna go grab a socket that fits us. And you will need a socket for the top side because these are recessed down in the plastic. Okay, so now we're actually going to remove this fascia bracket, um, or remove, remove the bolt at least. So this bolt here that goes in this fascia bracket, we're going to slide our piece into that um, and then run this bolt through. different tool to get to that. We'll try and see if this works. Seems like that worked. Okay, so it says to slide the U4 front bumper side brackets between the support and the frame of the vehicle. So it's gonna get sandwiched in between. And this uses Allen head bolts, a washer on each side and two not what not like nuts. Okay, so that's kind of how it looks. It basically hangs out. The bumper will go back and there'll be a screw that goes through it that goes in the bumper. We'll do that on both sides and have these tabs mounted. But it gets sandwiched between the fascia support and the frame mount itself. Okay, so now we're basically going to reinstall our, our fascia. Um, so what I've done is I put the lower bolts in first. And I'm going to get everything lined up before I completely tighten these tabs up because this controls where that fascia ends up at. And I'm going to try to get it as lined up like it was from the factory. <clears throat> And remember those those shorter bolts that go on the bottom of the fascia, long ones go up at the top. Okay, so now our front fascia is nice and even. 
uh, double check and make sure you actually get in the slot here down at the bottom. Uh, both sides are equal. Everything looks good. Okay, I'm just going to test fit these. This really doesn't say anything about Loctite. The ones that are in there Loctite, so you're replacing the factory bolts with these. Um, I'm going to put some Loctite on these. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, kind of set the bumper up there. You will have to kind of bend this fascia plastic out to fit this bottom loop. That's the biggest thing I've had trouble with. Kind of winded. Kind of wishing I didn't install the winch first. Uh, but it's not been too bad, so I've got one of the lower screws in. I'm getting ready to put the other one in And I'm just basically using my knee to kind of prop it up and get it aligned So that's the two lower bolts now we need to get everything aligned up here and get this bolt, you can kind of see how it raises up, raises down. Um, but I've got the two lower bolts in. Now we just need to work on the tops. Okay, this one we're going to have to kind of align a little bit better. Now let's just go uh, grab the proper, proper tool, 8 millimeter X. Okay. It's all mounted. I'm just going to go through and tighten these real quick. Get everything to torque. I've got a couple of bolts to take back out and actually put some Loctite on. And I'll do that now. Alright, so the HMF uh, U4 Defender bumper is installed on the front of the Razor. It looks great. I just wanted to note a couple things. Uh, one, be sure that you put this on uh, before you actually put the bumper on. It doesn't, I, that wasn't really clear in the directions, or maybe it was and I forgot it. You can slide it in from the back here, but it's very, very difficult to do. Um, another thing I'll note, um, you cannot get the grill in, so the, the, uh, the winch actually intrudes into this space and you can't really reuse the grill which I don't really mind um, because the winch is pretty much going to protect that anyway um, so it's not a huge difference um, but there's a there's a good shot of what it looks like um, finished and installed again uh, I'm going to do this when I do the wiring for the the, uh, the winch but basically the only connections we have is this which connects to the switches and then right here on the very edge of this so i'll be able to run the wires up and over um, is the uh, positive and negative terminals there's no contact in this <clears throat> but all in all really happy with the bumper it's really tight i'm going to kind of do a top shot so maybe eight inches of stick out on the front uh just fairly close within just a few inches of where the the uh stock little roll bumper came out but fit, fit and finish is really good. Uh, this is as far out as that bumper comes. Um, I'm going to kind of do a side shot here as so you can see where it ties in there. Just in case anyone's interested. And that's that side. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm sure there will be another one shortly. I'm trying to get this razor hammered out before the season really starts. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.